In all civilized democracies, the government is responsible uh, for the health of the citizens of the country that they rule. And you will all know that uh, in Japan there was uh, not long ago um, uh, an incident involving poison gas in which a lot of people died. And I want you just to briefly look at this uh, picture here of um, release from the Fukushima site on a particular day as modeled by a, a very powerful computer model that we use to show the substances being released and coming south to Tokyo. And what came to Tokyo and what went to other parts of the country was um, a radioact were radioactive clouds which, are, which were invisible. There was no way of detecting them except with special machinery. I present a, a group of independent scientists in Europe, the European Committee on Radiation Risk. Specialism is the uh, prediction, the understanding and the prediction of the health effects of ionizing radiation. The radiation released from the Fukushima catastrophe is invisible and, and cannot be measured except with special equipment. It's quite difficult to predict or explain the health risks without a risk model. The time we have available here, I want to impress upon you the fact that the risk model that is being used at the moment to assess the health uh, consequences of this catastrophe is wrong. It's easy to show this both from theoretical work, from cell culture work, but also from epidemiology of um, populations exposed to the same substances after Chernobyl. Scientists of the ECRR, they argue that the problem is um, that substances released from nuclear sites and that get inside the body, internal radionuclides, act in a completely different way to the way in which external radiation acts. This is because these substances cause higher dose to DNA, which is the target of uh, the radiation effects. Because they come in the form of hot particles, invisible tiny micron sized particles. Maybe because they come in the form of uh, novel substances which bind chemically to DNA. Examples of the latter are the isotope strontium 90 and the substances uh, associated with uranium, U235 and U238. The way that the radiation exposures are assessed at the moment in terms of health are entirely in terms of the external radiation dose in microsieverts. Implicit in this approach is a false and unsafe comparison with, that, with other natural background radiation exposures, external exposures. I'll show you a picture of a plutonium particle in a, in a rat lung taken by the French nuclear industry. Dorches like this, which do exist in the area even down as far as Tokyo, are not modeled by external radiation doses at all. Uh, all. These sorts of exposures also occurred after Chernobyl. And uh, all these studies after Chernobyl, we know fairly accurately the kind of thing that's going to happen to the people who are exposed to the radiation from Fukushima. Uh, we also have a fairly good idea of what's really going on on the ground. Uh, what you see here is a gamma spectrum of a car uh, air filter from an engine of a car that, that drove 100 in, a, in the area 100 kilometers from uh, Fukushima. So the peaks show uh, cesium-137 and cesium-134 will also be in the lungs of people, since people also breathe air like cars do. Uh, guys can be found in another car which drove near Chiba City, so you can see this happens a long way away from the reactor accident. Solution spectroscopy also shows the presence of a whole range of radioisotopes from fission products from the reactor. What is perhaps most frightening is the presence of alpha-emitting isotopes in these filters. A uh, special alpha detector plastic which was placed between the leaves of the air filter from uh, the car which drove 100 kilometers from Fukushima. Uh, each, one of, each one of these tracks delivers a dose of 500 millisieverts to the tissue nearby. Here's an astonishing picture of a hot particle about half a millimeter across which contains a large amount of alpha emitters. With a, diameter, with a diameter of about half a millimeter, you could actually see such a particle. It would look like a small piece of dust which might be on the desk.
These materials are just as deadly as the sarin poison gas. Uh, they take five to ten years to show their effect. And mm. it's great to, to, to show from the revolutions of the engine and the size of the engine the amount of these materials in the air. For the Chiba city filter, this concentration was 300 times bigger than the peak concentration in cesium at the peak of the nuclear weapons testing fallout in 1963. The considerations enable us to predict very, very serious levels of cancer and other ill health that will almost certainly follow these exposures to people living within 200 kilometers of the reactor site. Are obtained by directly comparing the exposures with exposures to Chernobyl in northern Sweden. And cancers have already occurred. Sorry, where the increases have already occurred. And, and of course there will be a whole range of other effects which you don't have time to go into. And or... <coughs> So as far as the political dimension is concerned, the most important thing is to determine where the external dose rate is high and evacuate people from areas where there is currently a dose rate higher than one microsiever per hour. Critically important for the health of the Japanese population to abandon the, the risk model of the ICRP. Proper measurements and analysis should be made and, and the results should be made immediately available to the people who are, in, who, who are living in the areas where these levels of radiation are significant. And because of the, between a billion and a trillion becquerels of activity are being released every hour from this plant at the moment. Every day. Every day, that's right. So um, one person says a billion becquerels an hour. And some weeks ago, um, TEPCO told the Prime Minister that it was a trillion becquerels a day. Uh, this is a globally relevant issue. And the government should make representation to the international community to throw as much money as it takes at this problem to solve it by sealing off these reactors from the global environment as soon as possible. あの、どうも、あの、in Fallujah, uh, you can report about Fallujah, and maybe in the report it says that uh, birth defects have risen to about 20%. Oh no, much more than that. Birth defects have, have risen um, by a factor of about 10 fold. And for certain birth defects, up to 30 fold. It's absolutely astonishing. それでですね、その私が懸念しているのはその日本でもあの特にその福島のようなホットスポットのようなところであの似たようなことが起こるんじゃないかと、あのそういうことをあの懸念しているんですよ。え、まあその放射能の量から言うとむしろあの日本の方
Uh, I'm sorry, yes, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, I, I would say the developed countries ah, with right, these sorts okay. of complicated ah, equipment. And what Nihon, you will see uh, from Chernobyl is you will see a sharp reduction in the birth rate. And or, mm. What is that? Well, that means that all the babies die in the womb or they're in the womb. Ah, too much.